Happy Monday morning, May 24th, 2021. To God be the glory for yet another opportunity to experience. Oh, even though it's cloudy outside, the sunshine is in our hearts. The illumination of the Lord. He's in charge of all climate, weather, atmospheric conditions. So it might be raining in your life today. You might have that hiccup in the heart. But listen, God is in control. He owns everything and he controls everything. Give it all to him because of today's date, we would have gone to Psalms 24 and it reminds us the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. All the contents there are his. They are each one. It says he laid its foundation on the seas and set it firmly on the rivers. When you just look at the magnificence of creation, oh my goodness, I was digging up the weeds yesterday. Oh, what was that, the day before? Oh my, yeah. And just, just growth, growth, growth. But the Lord wants us to grow in him so that we can do great things and get rid of the weeds. Now, we can't pull out the weeds, but we could ask the Lord to search our heart and see if there's anything that is not pleasing. Now, pull it out, take it out. And lead me in the way of everlasting so I can have a beautiful, fresh, green lawn. Who may go up to the Lord's mountain? The psalmist asks David. David asks us today. Who can be in the holy place standing? The one who has clean hands and a pure heart. Has pure intentions and not touching the things that are defiling in our soul, in our body. Touch not. Mm -mm. Stay away from those things. It's contaminants. And it will pull us down. And we will not be able to do the preordained works that the Lord has meant for all of us. And he does not want us to deal with lies. No, he's one of truth. Yes, this is the person who will be able to be in the presence of the Lord. To hear his every direction in our life. There will be a voice behind you telling you, and Isaiah, this way you should go to the right and left, stand still, proceed forward. The Lord does that. So because of this, we can lift up our heads, O ye gates, be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. So the King of glory has come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. You are strong. You are an overcomer because the Lord, his very presence, his spirit is in you. Hey, hey. We are in 2 Kings 14. And remember we were talking about these kings who started their reign in second grade, two years after kindergarten, right? Seven years after they came out of their mom's womb. Well, it says, Jeho. Has son, King Jehoash, was in the second year as king of Israel when King Amaziah, son of Joash, Joash was that seven-year-old, began to rule. Amaziah was 25 years old when he began to rule. I don't know if you have made it to the age of 25 yet. I can remember when I was 25 and I would not have been ready to rule anybody, let alone rule my own self and spirit. No. But it's something about when you're young and when you're yielded, God can do amazing things in your life. <laughs> Remember David and Goliath. He was a teenager, minding his own business. And when we think about Mary, it says, oh, you are blessed among all women. She was a teenager. When we think about Joseph, he knew that he had a calling on his life, but he had to go through so much prison and all that other stuff. But the Lord's hand was on them in childhood and in teenage years. And then when you get to the 20s, they were ripe and ready. We don't have to wait till we're 95. The Lord can use us right now. But we have to have clean hands and a pure heart. He's the only one who can do it. And it says that Amaziah was 24, 25 years old when he began to rule and he ruled for 29 years. What was that, until 44 years old? His mother was Jehoiadin. Hey, they don't mention the mothers a lot. But this is, I think it was because of the mama. Because it says in verse 3, he did what the Lord considered right. Hey, all of you grandmothers, aunts, 
Parents, do not get weary in well-doing. For in due season, you will reap if you faint not. Galatians 6, 9 or 9, 6, just know it's in there. And God wants us to do great things. Don't, don't go by what you see. If Junior is still out there, listen, you continue to do the work of the Lord. You keep on praying. You keep on having your hand to the plow. Don't look back. Go forward. For the Lord knows the plans for that young person. Plans to prosper them and not to harm them, to give them an expected end. And it says, listen, young person, old person, if you didn't have good parents, if they were no good, it says here, parents must never be put to death for the crimes of their children and children must never be put to death for the crimes of their parents. Each person has to give an account. We thank the Lord that the Lord has given us new life, that we are redeemed, we're rescued from the punishment of all of our mess that we have done before. Woo, if I could think about what I've done. It has how God has given me a brand new chance today. I think that's why I have no fear. I want to proclaim the goodness of the Lord wherever I go in word or deed. Not so much preaching, but living. And I know you have that same type of devotion and conviction. All right. Enjoy the presence of the Lord. Remember, God has plans for each one of us. Let's run and do his will. Make sure we have clean hands and a pure heart living in truth. Enjoy.